Today, we're going eye racing at the old classic Michigan. Get ready for some four wide pack racing, some bump drafting. It's gonna be 40 laps to get it done. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's go racing, boys. We laid down a hot lap in qualifying. Rolling off the grid in position number four. I feel like this is one of my best tracks on the schedule. This 13 is laying back a lot. That tells me he's probably gonna go right at the restart line is what I would be thinking here, but we're gonna find out, boys. We're coming to the line very slow here the green flag is out my goodness nobody went there ahead of me we're three wide i had to go three wide to keep him running into his back bumper the 14 was sleeping there and we took the green flag three wide and a one you don't want to be that guy to win it already man let's hope we can find some grip up high i'm not finding a whole lot i might fall in right behind this number 14 we're two wide currently i'm backing out of the throttle a little bit just to calm everything down man that is not what i thought was going to happen where's the 14 going down to the bottom we're three wide right now. I don't know if he got loose or if he wanted to pull over there, but we are three wide going into turn number three and four. Look at the Budweiser machine. That eight car descended in so deep right there. How about the racing we are getting on lap number one? We're going to cross him over, get to his inside, potentially get that position back. The biggest thing I want to do right now is fall into line and hopefully calm down just a tad bit with 39 laps remaining. I would think we're probably going to get a yellow flag early. If we do not get a yellow flag early, we're probably going to go green for a very long time, if not all the way to the end. The racing this week has been incredible, but the green flag racing has been long. So your tires are what you have here. Look at the sim by that number eight. He's going to make it all the way to the fourth position, but he's not going to hold it there on the bottom groove. This is going to be some big moment on Mofter number four. We're going to try to take the eight on the outside if we can potentially, man. All the way up to the top, man. He's trying to run me very high going into turn number one and two. If we can make this thing rotate, we're going to put it back inside the top five. And I believe we just got that position as long as we can follow the number 17. I'm trying to give this guy enough room down there on the bottom, but he's going to clear me once again, but he's not going to be able to hold it. He may be going around right there very sideways, but he's going to save it. The 17 nearly got the wall there in front of me. Oh, man, it's an opportunity to take him three wide again, but we're going to hold back. Go for the fourth position if we can. They might go three wide ahead, so it's important to be on guard right now. Tucked in, locked and loaded behind that number 17. Where do we make the move at, boys? Where do we make it? I don't want to take it three wide. I want to take it three wide, but I'm not going to, man. I'm going to stick high, being smart right now. Put it up to the fourth position if we can get that pass completed. Man, this car is on rails right now. I'm feeling good here today at Michigan. To the back bumper of the number 17. Nowhere to take it here in front of me. Side by side for fourth. We're going to get some drafting help. We're going to get some momentum. And I believe we're going to clear him. How about that, boys? 35 laps remaining. Car is feeling great. Race is coming together well. Here we come down to the bottom groove. I know there's not going to be grip down here. But we're digging, boys. We didn't come here and play around today, man. Trying to get that pass done. But I got to be careful they don't take that position behind me. Because they're trying to sneak up to my outside now. He might get that pass done. And that's what happens if you get a little bit too greedy here. But now we're going to have to throw it in on that bottom groove. The leaders are getting a little bit racy up there. We're going for third. I know with this traffic jam, we might have a shot to gain some positions here. But it's not going to be easy on the bottom groove. And we don't want to waste our tires. They're spinning behind us, boys. Is that going to be a yellow flag? Crash behind us. He's off the track. We're keeping her clean and green. I tucked in behind the 21. We're going to ride it out for just a moment here. Try to save up the tires. Save them up and make sure that we have something come to the end. But they're charging hard by me. Here comes the number 22 car to the bottom groove. I don't know if he's going to be able to make that work. He did not get that pass completed. I think very soon we're going to start seeing guys fall off back down to the bottom groove. Trying to get the momentum, trying to get that pass completed on the number 21. And we're going to clear and put it up to the fourth position as we're going to tuck right there in front of him. Now, can we do the same thing with the 17? We're going to have to throw it in pretty deep and get that done. It might have to be a slide job. I just throw her in. Threw her in till we seen Elvis. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I don't know how we threw it in that deep. It's not going to rotate. It's not going to quite work out for me. But we threw that car in to one and two. Going in a one, we're going to have to slide job him. That's the only way. If not, you see the line of cars behind me. You see a train behind me right there. You know we got to throw her in, boys. We got to throw her in and hope for the best. Trying to get back to the throttle, but the six is pinning me down, so I can't get back to the throttle. I'm hoping the 17 will just roll over. I got help coming behind me. That potentially could be a lifesaver here. Going in a three and four. Ran him a bit higher that time by. And I believe we're going to do it, man. I believe we're going to do it. I'm struggling with this number six car. Because when he's getting back to the throttle, it does not match when I get back to the throttle. This guy's putting up a fight. I can tuck him behind him in the fourth position, but that's not what we want. We got to fight for the lead up front. This could be a helper here. 
If I throw it in deep enough, we might be able to run all the way up to the second position. And that's what we're going for now, boys. Going for position number two on the bottom groove. Grip is very low down here, but we are fighting for second, and we have made it to the second position. Come on, just a little bit more, and we're going to clear that number 13, man. So close to clearing the 13. I'm going to run him high here. Run him very high here on entry. Throw it in. Put it all the way up to position number two here at Michigan. That's why you fight here. That's why you don't go down easy. They're into the wall behind me. Oh my goodness, from leading one lap, and he's going around. I believe that's going to be the first yellow flag of the day. He is around off of the racetrack. No yellow flag at the moment. I can tell this six is definitely backing his pace down. I feel like I'm a little bit faster. I want that track position if I can get it, man. We're so close to the lead. 30 laps remaining. He ran that corner pretty wide. The car is feeling great. I'm loving everything about this race here today, man. We are providing some content. I just don't know how I'm going to get around this guy cleanly without wasting my tires. Big moment, I'm going in a one. I'm not going to take that chance right there. I believe he thought about just giving it to me, man. He might not race me for this position. I think I got to get up on the wheel. I might have to go try to get him here. This is a great opportunity because I don't have too much traffic there behind me. So with nothing to lose, I'm going to try to overtake him going in a one. Yellow flag. First yellow flag of the day drops on lap number 12. We're all coming in for four new tires and fuel. Really, dude? Thanks a lot there, dude. I sure hope I don't get to you. Come on, man. Get off of me. Can't go no higher than the wall, bro. My bad. Sorry about it. Dang it! Probably the guy who took me out. Some of you guys are driving like crazy, goodness. Don't know how to give each other room. We blew the pit stop, man. Absolutely blew it. Came in too far right, had a back up. Man, I got thrown off. I did not know the six was pitting directly in front of me. I thought he was pitting behind me. That threw me off terribly, man. We're going from second all the way to about mid-pack. Checkers or wreckers, we're going to try to Ricky Bobby this thing up to a win here from Michigan. They're taking on very slow. The green flag is out. Nobody in front of me is going too good right now. I got to defend the bottom up to third gear, paying attention to everyone around me. Where do we want to be, top or bottom? I got a choice right here going in a one. I think the bottom group will likely prevail, but we're going to find out, boys. They're trying to take me on the outside. Man, these cars are loose. We're three wide right now. Hold on to her as we're trying to get out of fourth gear. Like what I said, we can't beat ourselves right now. Everything is beginning to single out. We're up to the fifth gear. We may have lost a position, but they are currently side by side for the lead up front. I think we're going to see guys be much more aggressive. Out of control goes to number eight car, but he's going to save it right there. We might need to get around these guys some way, somehow. Oh my goodness, this, where do you want to be? I don't know where I want to be right now. Trying to come up and take the outside groove. Whichever one is moving, I'm good with, man. On the outside, we're going to get one pass, but I don't know. We just can't throttle up. We're stuck behind the number 15. I don't know how we're going to get around the 15 because now we're boxed in. This outside really has to come in. We're going to clear the bottom group right here. We're going to get around the number 22, put it up to ninth. Now, can we get position number 8, and where do we got to do that at? We might need to take them three wide here. 22 is going to sail that baby in way deeper than I thought was possible. And we're currently three wide at Michigan, three wide middle. I'm going to tuck in right behind the number 22 and give him that position. And this really goes to show how important track position is. You can be fast here and just not really have any way to get up to the front. We're going to take them three wide. Oh, boy, we're getting door slammed. We're wrecking, boys. We're wrecking. We're wrecking. Let's minimize the damage. Hopefully, we don't get the wall. Don't get the wall. We got the wall. All right, no yellow flag, so that's really unfortunate. Oh, man, this is going to put me behind the eight ball. Reckon, but no caution. One mistake, one mistake on pit road. And you get caught up back there in the cluster. Okay, boys, a quick update. We're currently pulling away from the leaders. We are solidly on the lead lap. I do not believe under any circumstance we are going to go a lap down here. The car feels absolutely perfect. Doesn't feel like there's anything wrong with it. I'm catching position number 20. He's out of the groove up ahead of me. I think we're going to get that position back. All we got to do right now, 
Hope and pray for a yellow. We just hit the halfway marker. We are officially halfway over. 20 laps remaining. We're hoping for that yellow flag of fall. If not, it doesn't look like we are going to catch up. Now, I'm very confident we are going to get that yellow flag before the end. I'm just hoping we get it sooner than later. Let's hope this 15 does not fight me. He's going to roll over to the outside. He's going to give me the bottom. This is the battle for position number 20, and we are going to easily take it. Here comes the number 15 car. Below me. I hate that we're racing right now, man. We just got to keep it on the lead lap. We really do. We just got to keep this thing on the lead lap. I'm going to give him that position just to keep him running side by side. Whoa, out of control in front of me. He's into the wall right there. So underneath the number four, we know he was struggling, and we are going to go by him. Yellow flag is out. There we go, boys. We're going to reset him, re-rack him, get whatever damage repaired, and we're going to be going racing with probably five laps remaining coming from the 20th position. Dang it! Now it gets interesting. Pace car is in for potentially the final time here today, waiting on the leader. Here we go, boys, trying to time it right. I can try to shoot them three wide. Maybe there's not going to really be a gap right there. The 20 tried it, and there just wasn't enough room, man. Oh, man, they're going three wide middle. You knew some people were going to be kind of silly here, man. I was going to do a three wide outside. Three wide middle is dangerous. There they go, boys. Into turn number one and two. I don't know if they're going to make it. We got guys being way too aggressive. Everyone is door slamming everyone into turn number one and two. Let's try to hold it. Can we get to the outside of the 18? Three wide top. Going to hopefully snag a position right there. They're three wide in front of me. It's going to be three laps to go with the line. Here we go. We have now cleared the bottom groove. I think I'm going to keep this thing high for now, but I don't know, man. I might want to go down to the bottom. I feel like that's where the grip is going to be. Unfortunately, the 15 is going to be there, so I cannot get down to the bottom like what I wanted. I don't want to get trapped behind this, guys. Everyone's snagging the wall everywhere. We have now cleared the bottom. Here we go. All the way down there, boys. We gained a couple positions. See if we can get underneath the number 13. It's going to be two laps to go with the line. On the throttle, looking good so far. An overtime attempt is very possible. Look at this check up here ahead of me, man. Everyone's trying to dodge that number 22 to the bottom groove. That's going to be a position. Now we are on the bottom, trying to make this pass down here. Very low on grip with two laps remaining at the line. We are three wide. They're three wide ahead of me. Hopefully we can hold it here, get some drafting up down the front straightaway, man. Somebody might bell out of it. It might be that number 13 car. Going into turn number one and two. That's another couple positions. Now going for the 14th position. I said I wanted a top 10. This time by, I'll be the white flag if we make it back. If we do not, we will be going overtime, and we're going to try this thing again. I'm all for an overtime attempt as long as we're not involved in anything, but obviously, I'm trying to hustle this car right now. We're going to be three wide because I bobbled their off turn number two, so let's hope this is going to work out. I think if I throw it in deep enough, we're going to be A-OK, -okay, but it's going to get tight because everyone threw it in super deep right there. We're going to hold that position. Are we going to get a final lap crash? With how jumbled up everything is, I'm betting on a final lap crash. White flag from Michigan. Let's go get a top 10, baby. We're still in it. Let's get a top 10. Good draft behind the 13. What can we do with them? We're running in position number 15 right now. I don't know how we're going to gain five positions in one lap, but you can't tell me nothing right now after the day that we had. I am refusing to go down. We may have a spinner here in front of me. Whoa, don't come back up. Don't come back up. Put it up a 14. Return number three and four for the final time. Guy behind me has a little bit of momentum. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything with it. It's looking pretty clean here in front of me, so I don't think we're going to get any more crashes. 13's coming down to block me. We're going to have a good runoff at the line. It's going to be position number 14, unless they all crash them up and die here coming to the line. There we go, boys. 14th from Michigan. We got a lot I want to look over. Obviously, not a great day. We did our best to rebound to get as much as we possibly could. Just wasn't enough here, man. We made a mistake, put ourselves behind the eight ball, paid the price for it. We have no one to blame but ourselves. It all started right here. The three pulled in early. I thought he was pitting behind me and not in front of me, and it threw me off because of that. Had a back up, and I just couldn't get backed up far enough or even get angled incorrectly. Had a back up a second time. Just lost me too many positions. From that point, we had no choice but to be aggressive. I was unaware I took them four wide. I thought it was three wide. Either way, I was nowhere near anyone. They wrecked regardless. And uh, I was just hoping not to get any damage off this. Fortunately, we didn't hit the wall. We actually bounced off the 15. Didn't really even put a scratch on this car. Now, before I end today's video, I'd like to thank my Patreon members who I go iRacing with on Thursday nights for the DLB TV Racing League. The schedule is right here on the screen. We'll be going racing for the Daytona 500 on January the 19th. I would also like to thank my Patreon VIP members. So special thanks to CHTV, Joshua Kane, Sanquez Gregory, and Timothy Stubblefield for supporting the channel. And I'll 
catch you guys in the next video.